Hey guys, Derek here. Real quick, I wanted to share a story with you. I was working with a customer today. We had a, uh, or he has a 2011 Chevy Cruze with a 1.4 turbo engine. And um, <clears throat> his concern was that the check engine light was on all the time and the cooling fans were running all the time. Codes in the computer, he had, he had got a scan tool and he had extracted the codes from the computer before he reached out to me. And here are the codes that, that he has, there's six of them. P0097, P0132, P0134, P0135, P0236, and P0237, okay? So the 32, 34, and 35 codes are gonna be oxygen sensor codes. And the other three are gonna be related to the intake air and temperature sensor. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, this particular vehicle uses a intake air, basically it's a pressure sensor, and a temperature sensor combined together as one sensor, and GM puts it, Chevy puts it right on the air intake snorkel right before it goes into the throttle body. So basically, the, you know, the computer needs to monitor or measure the temperature and the pressure coming into the engine, um, um, pressure of the air coming into the engine. So uh, I don't know the history or the, the background of this, you know, of how the customer got to this point. Uh, but all I know is he, he contacted me, check engine lights on, cooling fans on all the time. And the first thing I had him do was, was I had recommended, hey, have you replaced this air intake temperature sensor? And and he said, yeah, he, he goes, I just got a brand new sensor from the dealership and he put it in, cleared the codes and immediately the codes came back. So, um, <clears throat> so that's when he contacted me and when we, I went through and looked at these codes, uh, the other three are, like I said, oxygen sensor codes. So what I did is I pulled a wiring diagram of the oxygen sensor and I was taking a look at this, at the connector for the oxygen sensor and sure enough, the connectors or pigtails for both of these sensors are basically the same. They're, they're almost identical. So, you know, the, the connector for the oxygen sensor, the, the front oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor one, and this air intake pressure and temperature sensor, these connectors can be swapped from the sensor. So he basically had the oxygen sensor connector plugged into the intake air pressure and temperature sensor, and that connector was plugged into the oxygen sensor um, and thus causing these codes. The computer, uh, you know, was, was trying to get a reading on these sensors and everything was all off. And of course, immediately the computer will flag these codes. So um, <clears throat> one way that we, we were able to pinpoint the problem pretty quickly was I, I pulled a wiring diagram of both of these sensors. And sure enough, um, looking at the wires, he had, you know, he had he had the, the connectors mi uh, mixed up. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you guys, in, in I'm gonna pull a wiring diagram here and show you guys, if this happens to you, what color wires to look for to make sure that the connector's plugged into the right sensor. All right, so let me pull a wiring diagram and, and uh, I'll show you exactly what's going on. All right, guys, here is the oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor one right here, and you can see the color wires. There are four wires, and you can see the color wires going to the sensor. I believe this is gonna be a dark green, yellow wire with a brown stripe, gray wire with a white stripe, and then we have a violet wire with a, with a dark blue. Okay, so that, that connector with these color wires should be plugged into the oxygen sensor. And then here is the uh, intake manifold pressure and air temperature sensor that we talked about. It's also a four wire sensor and you can look close at the, the color wires. Gr we have a gray wire, we have a brown and red, black wire with a dark green stripe and a dark green wire. And of course by pulling a wiring diagram we had identified that these color wires were actually plugged into the oxygen sensor and then these color wires were plugged into his intake manifold pressure and air temperature sensor. Um, so clearly he had the connectors mixed mixed up. They were basically just swapped. So all, all we had to do is switch the connectors and 
ta-da, that took care of uh, all of six, all six diagnostic trouble codes. The cooling fan stopped running constantly. And as soon as he cleared the codes, the check engine light went off. So problem was uh, immediately fixed. So I just want to let you guys know um, in case, you know, when you guys aware of this in case anybody runs into this. And by the way, here is, that's what the sensor looks like. That's where it's located. It's basically mounted into the air intake duct or air snorkel that goes right into the throttle body. So there's the sensor mounted right there and that is the throttle body. So basically the computer needs to monitor this air, the, the, the amount of pressure and the temperature of the air coming into the engine um, in order for it to run properly. And if it didn't, didn't see a good, a good signal here from this sensor, key on engine off, boom, it's going to, it's going to flag these codes and, and it'll, it'll kick on that cooling fan. So um, just want to let you guys know, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe for more videos. Thanks.